Another interesting local story right here. A local street artist started from the bottom, but now he's here hosting his very first art show in Las Cruces. Jasmine Perry got the chance to speak with the talented artist on why he hopes to inspire the youth to do the same. Uh, Jasmine started from the bottom, now he's here. Uh, he's really embodying the uh, Drake song in real life. Yes, of course. He did start from the bottom. Now he's here. So Nasario Sandoval says he wants to help teens who are headed in the wrong path. His goal is to motivate them to express anything they're passionate about. And he's asking parents to step up and find out what their teen wants to do in life. Nasario Sandoval was saved by the Court Youth Center in Las Cruces, along with other young street artists. You know, I just think that there needs to be a lot more of these programs, and there are. I mean, it's just a matter of, you know, you have to do the research and find them. They're not going to find you sometimes. I was lucky enough that this program found me. That put him on the road to success. Not forgetting where I came from and all the struggles that it took to even get into my own gallery. Now Sandoval is a street artist in Las Cruces, hosting his first pop-up art show, Humble Beginnings. So, you know, that's 25 years later from the first time that I had a gallery show, which was a group show um, in 1998 at, in Court Youth Center. So, you know, it's come a long way. Sandoval presents his artwork out in the community, painting the entrance of Cottonwood Mall that features a 250 foot long wall. It took me to a different catalyst in this art. So once you can do something of that magnitude, it really, really turns things around for you in, in your career of a, as an artist. and. You know, you got to figure out the business side of it, too. It's not just, you know, going and painting things. People could take pictures against the Canvas project and hashtag Cottonwood Mall and his Instagram name, Wemfer. He also painted former boxer Johnny Tapia with Danny Romero in downtown Albuquerque. It's in the heart of the city, so everyone really loves that. You see all the low riders taking pictures by it. Sandoval hopes his pop-up art show inspires teens to figure out what they want to do in life, if it's becoming a painter or a photographer. But, you know, we need to really figure out how we can reach these children and how we can reach these youth because it's, it's really, really getting catastrophic out here and we need to really step up and ask them what they need. How cool is that? Inspirational story right there. It shows yes. that no matter where somebody starts from, if they have that hidden talent, they don't even need the talent necessarily at the beginning, just the no, drive no. to do something else with their life. And he started with graffiti. I'm telling yeah. you, he was very young. He was telling me that, you know, he was not in the right steps. Like he would mm -hmm. do graffiti, but he went to the center in Las Cruces and they helped him out and they were able to like actually make his graffiti into street art so now it's been looking like that and it's giving color to the community so it's yeah. pretty cool and the event is going to take place um, in Nopalitos Galeria in Las Cruces and it's going to be tomorrow from 5 to 10 p.m. Some really so cool, if you want to go. Some really cool pieces the the feather painting that was behind him mm -hmm. in the interview I like that one. It was pretty cool yeah he's a really <laughs> really good artist. All right Jasmine thank you so much and just the head it